Hello friends, now we're going to put this together, but I don't really think there is space enough here. So maybe it has to lean a little bit. But that's not the problem, because imagine this is the epoxy liquid. Straight up, man, then the glue you want is like that. But if it's even a little bit like this, it doesn't really matter, because it's there. So that's a good thing. And even if I don't get them aligned up very good on a <coughs> on a book side. It really sits very good, but it doesn't have to be straight. Because it's one point here, the set side and one point down over the down hole. So between there, the sail don't care, you know. It's a fantastic sail. Different with the Bermuda sail. You got the track and things like that. No, this is not a Bermuda sail or gap sail or something like that. The gap sail, so we don't really care. So this is what we're gonna do today. Joint between here. And today is Borka doing that. The famous ice hockey player, <laughs> being professional in Canada and doing all these goals with the thing, you know. Well, thank you, Borka. So, now, the nipple is here. The gap is closed. The glass fiber and peel ply and second and epoxy. And I'm going to put some injection here so let this dry and then tomorrow we'll see how far up it goes in the roof hello friends this is an amazing way of doing a constrictor knot just make a band like this then you will do it under and then you do it over, and you got it like this. Then you just fold them together, and here you have the constrictor knot. Like you can see here. So I do it again, because a knot you must also do a thousand times. Bend it together, under, fold it over, and here it is, a constrictor knot. And it's very good to making a bundle or close a sack and things like that, but it's hard to get up. So that's the, no, thank you.